Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. Today we're talking about my antique booth. So we're gonna go over some sales, what I've done over the last couple weeks. I got some stuff in this bag that I'm taking out to my booth. And yeah, that's about it. At, maybe at the very end, we'll talk about what sold. I sold four items on four items on eBay today. Got those all shipped out already. Decent price items, so it was, a, it was an okay day. And uh, yeah, over here, I went to Bookman's. I traded items and I got stuff that I'm gonna sell on my booth. And we'll talk about that. So yeah, let's go over sales first and then we'll come back to this. All right, yeah, let's talk over some uh, booth sales here. So the last few weeks have been pretty good. Uh, you can see at the top, I've broken down into three categories, my different uh, ways that I track my booth sales and thrift, collectibles, and cards. Thrift is anything that I find at auctions or at thrift stores, estate sales, that kind of stuff. Collectibles is anything I get from my local sports contacts, uh, sports card shops or other people that find inventory for me. And then cards is actually just single cards that I sell anywhere from a dollar to five dollars, just depending on the card. Uh, so you can see sales have been pretty good. I've done over 600 and some dollars in sales. We'll go over the exact total at the end. But we had 335 thrift, 249 in collectibles and cards, only about $40, which again, that's a little bit low for me. And as I look through here, I had quite a few sales, but just nothing that was very expensive. Uh, the main thing that I that I sold this period was I sold, I know this is a little wobbly here, I'm doing this handheld, is I sold a lot of signed Coyotes items that I got from a friend recently. So we had a lot of nice sales of 15, 12, 12, 12. So a lot of those items sold. Other than that, uh, we got rid of some nice stuff. We got rid of some Rocketeer packs, which was some loose card packs that I had. I'm happy to get rid of those. And look at this one, Leonardo DiCaprio cards. It was a, a Leo card set, and it's probably been in my booth for at least six months. Finally, that somebody bought that. And I actually had it kind of buried in the back, so they had to dig around just to find that item. Um, I sold 30 Mighty Beans in a case, so that's a lot of things that you find at garage sales and thrift stores. Uh, that went for $12.95. Uh, let's kind of look down here, see what we see what else we had that was not like sports. Uh, just this skull goblet was something that I found for a dollar at a thrift store. It was just like a glass goblet that had a skull face in the front. So somebody probably bought that for Halloween. Uh, some gruesome greeting cards. These are some other non-sport cards. Those sold. And then we get some of the stuff that I saw all the time. A Star Wars Speed Racer, a Deadpool figure. Oh, uh, and then we got a couple bobbleheads down here. Uh, right, and every month you should see a few different Sports Illustrated magazines that I sold. I usually just put SI Magazine, or sometimes it'll say the person's name and then SI if I sell it for a little bit more. I sell these anywhere from a buck and a half up to about $5. I might have a couple that are rarer in there or popular players. Like if it's Tom Brady, I'll put it in there for four ninety five. But if it's just a regular old SI without a very exciting person on the cover, I'll put it for a dollar and a half. But again, let's go down the list a little bit here more. You see I sold it. Looks like one person bought a Batman set and an X-Men set. Then the same person looks like they bought a Tigger Bank and a Pooh Piglet Bank. And these are just plastic ones that I find again at garage sales or thrift stores. And they're anywhere from like one to three dollars. And you can see I got $9.95 a piece for those. So decent amount of profit on those. Again, not huge. You can just see the average item that I sell is less than $10. And we'll go over the average price at the end as well. A Polaroid camera, that was $9.95. That's just your typical Polaroid automatic camera. Now again, I know you can sell them on eBay for just a little bit more, but it's really a lot easier to just throw it in the booth, get 10 bucks for it. I could probably put 12 on it and it would still sell because uh, I think on eBay, they're going anywhere between 15 and 20. Now we'll go down the list. I sold a pop figure that was Ghost from Games of Throne, uh, some Star Trek stuff, a Coyote Smug, some more sports cards. And here's well, maybe one person bought all these bobbleheads. Mike Trout, Buster Posey, and Tim Lincecum. So that was a decent little sale with all three of these. I found two of these Disney crafts at the same same store for $2.95 each and uh, put them in my booth for $12.95 each and the same person bought them both. So that was a really good sale. Stuff like that that's glass, I don't want to have to ship it on eBay. Just, you know, you have to put it in a really big box, make sure that it's protected. You're spending a bunch of extra money on bubble wrap and packing peanuts and all that stuff. So I'd rather sell it for about the same price or maybe a couple dollars less in my booth. Now, as some of you remember, I showed at a auction, I bought a bunch of sports cards and binders. So right here, you see a 1980 Topps baseball binder and a 1974 baseball binder. I think I picked these up for $7 a piece at the auction. One sold for $19.95 and the other one for $32.95. And I think the other one is either on this page or maybe it's on the next page. 
down here you see a couple of signs that I found. These were large wood signs. Found them for I think seven dollars at a thrift store and pretty good price. I ended up getting $25.95 on the pair of them or $25.95 each. And let's go to the last page and check out some totals. All right, we're here on the last page and we got some totals here. So look, I sold a total of 78 items or at least no, 78 rows, 97 items. So there are definitely some quantities of things in there. Average price, $6.43. And that's about right for my booth. You know, you sell dollar items, your average price isn't going to be too high. Then you can see my gross sales, $624.17. We are back to full rent now. So the uh, rent credits are done, $112.50. And that's just for a two-week period. So about $55, $56 per week. And then the other fees that they charge, credit card processing, and some insurance and security and then they got their 10 percent sales commission so yeah fees was 77 dollars and rent 112 it gives me my net of 434 dollars and 10 cents that goes into the bank so again really good sales again 624 dollars over two week stretch i think that's pretty good all right i hope this angle works uh, i'm having some problems with my little desk tripod it is uh starting to fall apart so it won't stay standing up on its own so either i have to hold it or I can put it at this angle. And I think this one's gonna work okay. So yeah, let's get going. Now, what I did at the uh, Bookman's here, which is like our local record music exchange, you have lots of toys uh, and all that stuff, is I take items that either haven't been selling for me or that I know they will take in trade and don't have great resale value. And then I get them for items that I can either sell on eBay or in my antique booth. And it works out really good. Uh, again, get rid of some stale inventory for stuff that I know that will sell. Now, today I took a bunch of stuff, and really not too much. I took some video games, a few toys that hadn't sold in probably over six months in my store, and a couple other random things that I had, and I got this bag of stuff, plus some leftover credit. I think today I got $96 in credit. I already had about 14 or 15 from a previous trip, so I have over $100 to spend, and I only spent, I think, 60 of it today. So, uh, first up, I got one of these... These are metal die casts. This is Old Man Logan from Wolverine. You can see in there he's got gray hair in that one. This one was $6 there, and that's probably what I'll put it for. First pop, we got Olaf. I sell a lot of pops in my booth, but I only go after like the mainstream characters, so the top characters from each movie. So if I'm going to get Batmans, I'm not going after the Commissioner Gordons or other lower level characters because they just don't sell and you can't get them cheap enough to sell them at a low enough price. I mean, if I could buy these for a buck a piece, I'd pick anybody up and put them in my booth for five. But generally, I'm not finding deals like that. Uh, Olaf here, I paid, well, in credit, $8. And that's what it'll go for in my booth, $7.95. This one I picked up, this is Han Solo. This was a Loot Crate exclusive where he's in the snow gear. This one was $4.00. So that was why I picked it up. It was a cheap enough price. And yeah, I'll still probably put them at $7.95. I think I can still get the sale at that level. Next, this one, actually, I really like. This is Buzz Lightyear. This is another one of these die cast metals. But look, that one's that one's so cool looking. And it was $10. So he's going to be $9.95 in my booth. Now, I do always check on eBay before I take them out to my booth because I have had a couple times where I found like a pop that was rarer than I thought it was and I sold it for like 30 or $40 on eBay. One I remember was Crush from Finding Nemo. He was like a $50 pop and I was gonna put him in my booth for 10 until I did that double checking first. So again, I always double check before you sell them for cheaper. Just a few, few things in here, not too much. Uh, I got a Walking Dead. This is a Dorbs. Now Dorbs, again, they don't sell very good, but this is Daryl Dixon. Daryl sells in just about every type of toy and stuff you can get. It was five bucks and yeah, I'll put it for $5.95. We got another Q fig. This one is Harry Potter. That one's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see him in there with all the glare, but you can just point in his wand. Yeah, you can see him better on the back. That's what it looks like. And this one was $8, and I think I can get $9.95 for him. Harry Potter's pretty popular, and I don't think I've ever had this one in my booth. Uh, I've had plenty of the Jessica Jones and the Doctor Strange, the Hulk. There's a bunch of these. Uh, I find them all the time. And yeah, so picking this one up, I should get 10 bucks for it. And the last thing in the bag, uh, got Jar Jar. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody really likes Jar Jar, but it was eight bucks. It's a brand new uh, older Star Wars set with the Gungan Assault Cannon and the Jar Jar Binks figure again. It was eight bucks, I'll put it for 9.95, and eventually some Star Wars fan will pick this up.
So yeah, a lot of cool stuff back there to go out to my booth. I do have a few other items sitting around. Oh, let me tell you a couple things I picked up yesterday. Okay, I gotta thank my man, uh, Dave Cruz, for hooking me up on some stuff. Yesterday, uh, I picked up a bunch of stuff uh, that was mainly sports collectibles, but some Disney stuff too. He gets a lot of Disney stuff. It's where I found all the Disney items that I've sold in the past. This is a really cool, it's a Mouseketeer ears, and it's a limited edition like reprint of what the old ones look like. It's got a little plaque on the front and it's individually serial numbered. I think he had it in his store for like $80 because he had this in his eBay store originally. Uh, we made a deal for it. it. I'm gonna put it on eBay as well. And uh, yeah, I thought this was really cool. The plaque is falling off, so I might have to re-glue that. Next is another one. This is a little Mouseketeers ears. Got Mickey on the back and it says Mickey Mouse Club on the watch. So I thought that was really cool too. So a couple cool Disney items that I picked up from him that I got to get listed into my eBay store. All right, that's everything I got for today. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Help this channel out. All right, thanks everybody. I'll see you next time.